It's time for us to listen, to listen, to listen. It's time for us to listen to God's holy word. With eyes that are watching and ears that are listening. Mouths that are quiet and hands to ourselves. It's time for us to listen, to listen, to listen. It's time for us to listen to God's holy word. Hi guys, how are you? I missed you. Uh, we I didn't do a lesson last week because we had church on the farm and I got to see a bunch of you. And I hope when we meet again, I get to see some more of you. Um, but yeah, Miss Chrissy didn't do a lesson last week because we were all together. And instead of on YouTube, we were on Facebook live streaming. And so, um, yeah, there was no lesson, but I missed being able to see you like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get to see each other um, in person in July when we meet again on the farm with all the ducks and the, uh, the horses and the bunnies and the roosters. They were erring the whole time Pastor Brian was talking. It was awesome. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I have some really exciting news. We are going to start, um, our new curriculum and our new curriculum is going to, we're going to be talking about how God keeps his promises, um, in our new curriculum. And we're going to do it a little bit different for the next couple months. Miss Chrissy's going to come on every week and I'll sing a song. I'll pray with you, um, and do a little introduction, but there's somebody else who's going to be telling you your Bible story. Do you want to know who she is? She's a very friendly lady. I'm gonna show you a picture of her, you ready? Okay, this is Miss Betty Ann Snyder. See her? Doesn't she look so friendly? She's so nice, her voice is so calming. Um, and she calls herself Miss B.A. B for Betty, A for Ann, Betty Ann. She calls herself Miss B.A. And she's the one who's gonna um, be teaching your Bible story. Uh, the people who write our curriculum, write all our lessons, are giving us some awesome, some different awesome resources, some videos of Bible lessons, um, some some different handouts for your parents and for you guys. Um, and Miss Chrissy's going to make sure uh, all the grown-ups in your life get all the stuff that they need, the links that they need to click on those things and, and find those things. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really neat, a little bit different for a couple of months, right? You'll still see, you'll still see me and, and I'll talk to you, but somebody else is going to be teaching you your Bible story. So when Miss Chrissy's done, you're the grownups that are with you, your mommy and daddy or whoever, they can click on the link and you can watch the video of the Bible story uh, for the week. Um, and I just wanted all the grown-ups out there to know um, when we give you all the, the links for everything. Some of the links are going to be for um, a parent page that looks like this. It's like a one-page summary of um, like the scripture that was used and what, was, what we went over in the lesson. And so you guys can keep talking about it throughout the week. There's a link for coloring pages. Um, for you guys to color and then there's a bunch of stuff like how to talk with your kids about the lesson stuff that you can sing and do and I don't know it's it's kind of cool if you want to work on those things like throughout the week so okay um, I think that's it for now so let's pray and Miss Chrissy's just gonna say something real quick and then Miss Betty Ann's gonna tell you the, the Bible story okay open shut them open shut them give a little Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God just now. God, thank you so much for um, a new way to do uh, junior Sunday school right now. Um, thanks for Miss Betty Ann and all the things that she's going to teach us. Thanks for this lesson today. I thank you so much that you keep your promises. You are the only one who can keep all of their promises. Um, we love you, God, and we worship you. Um, for that and in your name we pray amen okay so I have a question for you how many of you know what a promise is do you guys know what a promise is have any of you ever made a promise to somebody yeah I bet you have now a promise is when a promise is when you say you're gonna do something and you do it right um, and a promise is also um, to say that something will definitely happen. Like you can promise that this is going to happen. Now, promises are they're kind of a big deal, right? You don't really make promises necessarily all the time or every day. Because if you make a promise, you've got to keep it. That's what it means to make a promise. So it's funny, like I was thinking of, um, thinking of an example of a promise. Like I would love to be able to promise my kids um, 
I promise you, you can have ice cream tonight. Not really, guys, just for the example of the lesson. Um, but if I said, I promise you can have ice cream. What happens if somebody gets sick or somebody else goes to a friend's house or we don't have any ice cream, right? Miss Chrissy would not be able to keep my promise to my kids. That's why I usually don't ever make promises like that to my kids. Um, that's not really something that's worth making a promise over either. It's ice cream. It's not that important. But I might not be able to keep that promise, right? Now, um, I also, I have made a promise to Mr. Steve. This is my wedding ring, right? I'm married to Mr. Steve. I'm his wife. He's my husband. Um, we married each other. When we married each other, we gave each other rings and we made a promise. I'm going to love you all the time, no matter what. I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. Um, and we made that promise to love each other, um, to love each other even if one of us gets sick or even if one of us grows a ridiculous looking beard and looks funny <laughs> or looks amazing. We're still going to love each other all the time for the rest of our life, right? That's, that's a big promise that people make when they marry each other. Um, so yeah, promises are a big deal. And you know what? We are sinful, broken people. And we, in our lifetime, I asked you... Um, have, have any of you made a promise? I want to ask you another question. Have any of you ever broken a promise, right? Made a promise to somebody like promise you, I'm going to give you this. And then you didn't do it. <laughs> um, or something like that. Yeah. We were sinful and we're broken and we, we can't keep our promises sometimes because of the way things work out. And then sometimes we don't keep our promises on purpose. Um, and we sin and we break our promises. So yeah, promises are, are really neat and they're a big deal. And what's really cool about what we're going to learn is that God always keeps his promises. And guess what? He is so worthy of our praise and our worship, right? To say, yeah, who way to go, God. He is the only one, only one ever in all of existence who has kept and will keep all of his promises. We can make promises and we break them. Other people can make promises and break them. But God, when he makes a promise, he will never break it. He always keeps his promises. So we that's what we're going to learn about for a couple months. Um, and uh, Miss Betty Ann is now going to uh, teach a lesson about, one of, uh, about the, the first promise that God made uh, to us, to Adam and Eve, to us as humans. Um, so it's a really cool story. And I just want to let all the grownups know, uh, that the story talks about Cain and Abel. And if the adults in the room are there, they know what that means. And Miss Betty Ann tells it right from God's true words. So, you know, I don't know if you want to talk about it before she reads the story or just so you know, it's coming. <laughs> She's going to talk about Cain and Abel and, and what happened between those two brothers. Um, but then also awesome things about the promise that, that, that God gave them that he was going to send a savior one day um, and that God did keep that promise and he always keeps his promises and that's why we can trust him and love him and praise him so all right guys go go watch the link and watch your bible story with miss ba and I'll see you next week bye